Hello, hello, I'm Beth Joey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. After a pretty unsuccessful reading month in August, which I will tell you about in my next video, today I'm going to run you through my hopefully more successful September TBR. Once again, just like my August TBR video, I played the Roll the Dice reading list game. For someone who's typically a mood reader, and this is a kind of interesting way to read some of the stuff that I wouldn't usually get a chance to read. For example, last month I read Conjure Woman, a book that I was hesitating at picking up, but then I picked it up and absolutely loved it. So without further ado, it's time for my first first roll for September's TBR. The first book in September's TBR is Fire With Fire by Destiny Zariah. Apologies if I've pronounced the last name wrong. Fire With Fire is about two sisters, Eden and Danny Rivera, who were raised by fierce dragon slayers. Whilst the two sisters themselves could not be any more different, there is one thing that they can 100% agree on. It's kill or be killed when it comes to dragons. This belief has been fed through their entire upbringing and really fuels them. That is until Danny forges a magical bond with a dragon, which leads her sister Eden to seek out the help of some mysterious sorcerers to essentially save her sister. In the impending war of dragon slayers against dragons, the two sisters are now on opposite sides, each trying to save the other, with little knowledge of the true enemy yet to show its face. Fire With Fire is a book that I got in one of my fairy loot subscription boxes, I believe. From the sister aspect of this book, I definitely think I can relate to Danny and Eden because I myself have a sister who I love dearly, but am incredibly different from, but would also do absolutely anything for. I got some very How to Train Your Dragons vibes from this synopsis, which I'm not really expecting it to be a peep like that sort of Pixar, I think it is, movie. It definitely enticed me. Now it is time to roll again. The next book for my September TBR is The Shadow War by Lindsay Smith. Yet another book, funnily enough, that I got in a book subscription box. I think it was Book Box Club. I will put links in the description down below to all the book subscription boxes that I am signed up to. Set in Germany, five teens are looking to make their mark on a country that's essentially overrun and overtaken by Nazis. Each teen has their own plan for revenge and redemption against the dictators that essentially took the most important things in their life away from them. When one of them discovers a shadow portal that should the Nazis gain access to would completely change the course of the war. The five must begrudgingly team up in a race against time, war and enemies in this world and the next. As a bit of a World War II buff and a fantasy lover, this book is going to be 100% up my alley. I'm kind of intrigued to see how they feed this fantasy element into the Second World War and I can't wait to see how these five teens ultimately change the tide of the war. Time for the next roll. <laughs> This next book is actually a really, really recent purchase. I recently did a trip to Waterstones where I think I bought about 11 books and I'll be doing a book haul video uh, in a couple weeks. Sneak preview, I guess. Box 88 by Charles Cumming. Set in two timelines, Box 88 is a spy thriller novel based around a man named Lachlan Kite who is part of the super secret spy organization called Box 88. Lachlan Kite is sent to France in 1989 in the midst of the Cold War to essentially investigate and gather intelligence on an Iranian businessman suspected to be the responsible for the Lockerbie bombing. So that's the first timeline. The second timeline is set in 2020 when Lachlan is kidnapped and tortured to essentially find out the information that he gathered in France all those years ago. In his cell in 2020, Lachlan must decide between giving up the information he discovered or watching his family die. I personally don't read a lot of spy novels, so I'm really interested to venture into that genre. I also know very, very little about the Cold War, so I think I'm gonna have to do some research into to the powers of play and also just what the Lockerbie bombing was. As a bit of a mood reader and an impulse reader, when I picked this up in Waterstones, the impulse was definitely there to pretty much read it straight away. Quite convenient that it comes up in my next month's TBR. Time to roll again. <laughs> Way, way, way back when I first started this channel, I talked for the longest time about rereading all of the sort of Shadowhunter books. I read them when I was in high school, but I haven't read them again since, so I was kind of interested to see how my perspective would change. Every month since, I've been adding those books to my TBR and haven't really been getting around to them, which is why I am so, so glad that in this month's TBR, I rolled the dice and selected Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. When I set out on this project, I wanted to read all of the books in publication order. I was really intent on experiencing how readers who'd followed the series from the very beginning would have read these books. I also hear that there's lots of little easter eggs. So now for the book itself. Clockwork Angel is the first installment in Cassandra Clare's Infernal Devices trilogy and it centers around Tessa Gray, Will Herondale and Jem Carstairs. So in 1878 Tessa Gray travels to London upon invitation from her brother after the death of her aunt. She's promptly kidnapped by two women who go by the Dark Sisters before then being saved by the 
the heroic and mysterious shadow hunters. For the rest of the book, Tessa essentially learns about a world that she never knew existed and how she fits into it whilst facing loss, love and power that she never really knew that she had. Obviously I've read this series in the sort of modern world so I'm really really intrigued to read it in a sort of Victorian era context and see how the romance elements change but all in all I'm just keen to finally get started on the rest of this series. Final roll! <laughs> So the last book on my September TBR is The Supreme Lie by Geraldine McCoffrin. Having just flipped through a, a couple of the first pages of the book, I am already completely hooked by this and that's not even having read much about what it's about. This inside cover is just insane. I love the sort of newspaper. As you all know, I love a good map in a book as well. And then my absolute favorite part, the inclusion of this news article right at the beginning of the book. I'm hoping that kind of continues throughout the rest of the book as well. So you can kind of learn about the story from not just the perspective of the people experiencing it but also from the perspective of the news. Anyway back to what the book is actually about. The Supreme Lie is set in Afalia, a country led by a tyrannical head of state, Madame Suprema. When an unprecedented flood hits the country, Madame Suprema acts the coward and just runs away, fearing that she will be blamed for the crisis and leaving her 15 year old maid Gloria to mop up her mess. To cover up the Madame's cowardice, Gloria is forced to step into her shoes and enter a world of corrupt politicians and forces that toy with her every move. She must make decisions that could save or end the lives of thousands of people, including her own. Having researched a little bit about what this book is actually about, I'm not going to give it many points for realism just from the outset. The idea of a woman's maid kind of stepping into the role of um, the tyrannical head of state seems very unlikely but I am interested to see how Geraldine McCoffrin is kind of make that make sense in the context of the story. So that is the end of my September TBR. I think I've got a really really interesting mix of books. There's some thriller, some spy novel, some political, some fantasy. So I think it's going to be an interesting month. As usual, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I release new content. But for now, that is it from me. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time. Bye!